Hello everyone, today we will discuss immunization of adolescents. So, the immune protection that is induced by the vaccines that are given during the infancy, it wanes over years. Okay. So, the immune protection induced by vaccines given during the infancy it wanes over years so there is need for the adolescent immunization so there is a need for adolescent immunization okay so important adolescent vaccines here we will see are related to pertussis, second HPV, third it is meningococcal. Okay, first we will discuss pertussis vaccine. So, as the both humoral and cell mediated immunity which is induced by the uh, pentavac that we have given during the infancy, it tends to wane during some year of life. So, the factors that determine the speed at which the immunity wanes, that determine the speed at which the immunity wanes. includes one it can be vaccination schedule second it can be due to the type of vaccine in this type of vaccine the a cellular pertussis vaccine it has a short lasting protection compared to the whole cell pertussis vaccine okay so the pertussis vaccine in adolescent has significant lowering of the new cases so we'll see the vaccine that is given in the adolescent it is tdap it is given at 10 years of age Next, TD is then repeated every 10 years once. Okay, this is about the pertussis vaccine. Next, we will see about the HPV, human papilloma virus vaccine. So, this HPV vaccine we have already dealt it in a separate video. Here, we will just see the gist of it. So, it is associated that is human papilloma virus is associated with development of anogenital and oropharyngeal cancers of which cervical cancer is the most important one okay so for hpv vaccine we have three types of vaccines one is bivalent which includes the serotype 16 and 18 second is quadrivalent which includes 6, 11, 16 and 18 serotype. Third one is nanovalent. Along with these 4 serotypes, 6, 11, 16, 18, it includes 31, 33, 45, 52 and 58. This nanovalent vaccine is not available in India. Okay. This bivalent uh, this trade name Cervarix 
for quadrivalent it is god acid next then in uh, america in that is in us it is given this vaccine hp vaccine is given for both male and female but in european countries and in india it is approved only for females okay next we'll see the dosage schedule that is in the children between 9 to 14 years of age group it is given as two doses that is 0 and 6 month when the child is when the child is more than 14 years of age we give three doses <coughs> this three doses depend upon the uh, which vaccine you use supposing if you use a bivalent vaccine you give it as 0 1 and 6 month schedule if you use a quadrivalent then it is given as 0 2 and 6 month schedule okay this is about the hpv vaccine next we'll see the catch up vaccination in adolescent so catch up immunization okay so in catch up immunization first mmr if the child have not taken any of the doses of mmr any of the dose of mmr you can give two doses which is given at 4 to 8 week interval second for hep b it is given in 3 dose schedule at 0 1 and 6 month third hep a before giving a hep a vaccine you have to do a anti to a anti hep a igg level if it is more than 20 milli international units per ml there is no need for vaccination okay or else you can give us two dose schedule at 0 and 6 month supposing if you are using a combination of hep b plus hep a combination then you can give it as three dose schedule like how we are giving the hepatitis b vaccine that is 0 1 and 6 month okay next for typhoid it is given as single dose next for varicella two doses are given schedule is second dose at 4 to 8 weeks interval this is about the catch up immunization in adolescence next we'll see for the high risk group for high risk group who are considered as high risk group the children who are immunocompromised who have anatomic function or uh, anatomic or functional asplenia uh, who have hiv infection are considered as high risk group in high risk group first is influenza vaccine this is given one dose every year next is pneumococcal conjugate vaccine it is given as single dose at the age of 6 to 18 years then you give a pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine which is repeated i mean which is given 8 weeks it is given as 8 weeks after the last dose of pcv okay uh, this pcv vaccine is given mainly for that i have told that high risk uh, children na that is anatomic or functional asplenia hiv infect children with hiv infection or uh, other uh, immuno suppressed state or it can be the child who is having a cochlear implant child with a csf leak these children require a uh, pneumococcal conjugate vaccine 
next meningococcal vaccine is given only during the outbreak condition and in the epidemic area and in the epidemic region we'll see in a detail about meningococcal vaccine in the next video okay epidemic so this is about the immunization in adolescence